All right, so this is a video that I've been debating whether or not I should make. Um, but having a conversation with a representative the other day kind of has me wondering, hmm, who else might will see it? So, as you all know, we got this bus in back in February. Okay. Um, there's been some issues or whatever with it and normally I'm okay with that but what I'm not okay with is issues that Bluebird specifically has been known as known about for years and they refuse to correct it or at least attempt to correct it um, this video is basically my own opinions my own opinions, my own judgments. I'd speak for nobody but myself, but I'm not happy with this unit. Um, for let's start off body wise here. Um, I know we see that and that and this. Um, no, it didn't leave the factory like that. Um, that's how my dealer corrected the issue. Not trying to downgrade on their work. My service department at my Bluebird dealer is great. But the problem is this panel rattles. It rattles terribly. Um... They've been using this design since 2015. It's almost 10 years now. And they haven't figured out how to make this not rattle. I mean, look at that. This bus isn't even a year old, and it looks like this. Another thing is, I ordered this bus with an acoustic ceiling. That ceiling is not acoustic. Only the first two panels are acoustic. So it makes it feel like the kids are right on top of you anytime you're... Uh, have a load of kids on here but i digress i could deal with that um let's go up here i have several drivers that cannot fit in these like the driver's area issue has been a concern since 2008 when they had the stone ridge cluster in that that whole dash area it was terrible. It only lasted a few years, and they switched to an older version of new, this new style, and they updated again in 2014 whenever they changed the color. That's just darker blue color. But, yeah, I have drivers that can't fit in this. Um, and for me, comfortably, you see how much room is behind that seat? And technically, I had somebody else on here training earlier. For me to be comfortable, and I have to put this seat all the way back, that's up against that so not only can you can i not use my storage compartments in my little cover here and that's one reason why i didn't order this bus with the uh seat cover that has the pockets in it is because i know i can't use it because i happen to have the seat all the way back like this driver's area has been an issue and like I said, Bluebird just doesn't, they don't want to correct it. Um, AC controls. Over here, out of reach. Now, this might be an MCC issue. This is the MCC, well, BCC, AC system on this bus. But my question is, why doesn't Bluebird offer a factory installed AC, at least for the driver's area? Like, I'm driving down the road here. I got to reach all the way over here. This is for my driver unit, which had to go back, which the bus had to go back to the factory to get the driver unit installed because somebody forgot about it whenever it was, when the AC was installed on it. Um, And this, here we go with this heater control panel. Yeah, the control panel works great, but guess what? The backlight doesn't work. Already, this bus isn't a year old, doesn't have 10,000 miles on it, hasn't had the first oil change yet. That does the backlight doesn't work, and instead of them using a 12 volt, 
LED strip behind that. Since 2004, when they came out with the first gen vision, I think even longer, they had used that heater control design where it used a 120 volt alternating current or inverter to run the lights on the, run the dash panel lights. What sense does that make? This instrument cluster, the Acura cluster was so much better, mainly because, hey, I can change the colors on this. It's not that blind and white color. And the gauges actually tell you what you're doing instead of about what you're doing because those gauges like to fluctuate when you're going to constant speed. It just moves back and forth, back and forth. And a lot of people might not have an issue with that. That's just a nitpicky thing. But it's just, I'm not happy at all with this bus. Um, it still rattles. Even, I mean, it's a lot better than what it was with those uh, panels fixed. But it still rattles. Uh, still rattles. It doesn't ride the best. Um, I had a lot more points when I was talking about this yesterday. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some people that agree with me on this. On some of these things anyway. Now one thing Bluebird does do, do right. Heater. The heater on this bus is amazing. The heaters on all of Bluebird buses are always amazing. But it's just so many things that they could do and make better. Like, why is that stairwell so tight? They can make it wider. It's wider on the All-American. Why is this a problem on the Vision? They can redesign this. Bluebird said they were coming out with this brand new redesigned Vision in 2022. Nothing changed driver-wise except for the switches, the smart switches, which kind of sucks even with the smart switches because now I can't move my switches around. If I move my switches, I can't just move this one to here or this one to here. I have to move this whole switch bank from here to here or from here to here. Why? Why have, have to move an entire switch bank? And then we still got a mix of smart switches and regular switches. That I don't understand. The radio that Bluebird uses now. Decent radio, but it's already trying to fail. It's done got hung up four times and it has to get reset. Or, and the volume knob is already starting to slip. It got stuck on PA. The PA mic was, it was garbage. This rattles. The whole driver's area, you hit a bump, the whole, all the control panel and all rattles. You've had this design for over 10 years. Why has this not been alleviated? Why has it not been fixed or at least tr looked at? As well as the driver's area. And I know a lot of people say, well, if you order adjustable pedals, I shouldn't have to order all the bells and whistles just so my bus drivers will be able to sit down and fit in the driver's seat. That is an issue. And they have a lot, uh, you know, there's a lot more issues right now that I just cannot, can, I cannot think about that I haven't, I can't get it because I'm drawing a blank right now because I actually have the video, uh, the camera going. Um, they did a lot of things right and there's a lot of things that they did wrong. Well, I'm not going to say wrong, but they could do better. Bluebird can really do better. The quality of these just isn't what it used to be. Oh, this front end. That was another thing. Why do these buses feel like they're so hard to hold on the road? Like, I'm not sure what changed between 2005 and the present day. But these buses are so hard to hold, hold on the road. And, and I don't want to hear people in my comments talking about because this bus is front, front end air ride. All of them are like that. All the visions are like that. You start hitting a series of bumps in the road. The steering wheel turns going that way. And it's hard to hold them in the road. And they sway back and forth in the lane. This one is not so bad because it is an air ride unit. Uh, I got a full load on it. It does track straight down the road. But you start hitting a series of bumps or get over off on the edge of the road a little bit, it snatches you over there. The other buses, I don't have an issue with that. Um, I will say they're easy to work on when they have an issue. There's plenty of room under the hood. Um, like I said, this isn't a 
video saying that everything that Bluebird did wrong. Bluebird is the only bus manufacturer that offers a front end air ride suspension on a conventional. Um, it rides pretty good, but it's the ride quality is negated by how much the body rattles. And they should know how to fix all some of this stuff by now. Um, there's a lot of other issues. I mean, feel free to comment in the and feel free to comment down in the comments whatever what issues y'all have had with them or what gripes or whatever. Let's hope that this ends up getting to the people that needs to see it because apparently either they know about these issues or they don't know about these issues. Um like I said, not really that happy with this unit. Uh, I mean, and granted, I came from an international. I came from a 2022 CE to this, hoping I had ordered the best bus I could. And if you've been on this channel long enough, you know that I've, I'm a diehard Bluebird guy. It's always been Bluebirds only for me. Um, and I've always went to back to defend them on a lot of things but it's a bus but i've gotten to the point to where i doubt i order anymore i really do i really doubt that i order anymore just because of the issues that i've had with this bus and it's been back to the dealership multiple times for silly issues like the seats not being put together properly and i mean those are i mean that's a safety issue man um that's a safety issue. This door, this door is hidden right there. It's just, I don't know. They need to do better. They should be able to do better. And I hope that they start to see some of these things and they actually be able to make a change for the better because I really want to see Bluebird succeed. Um, like I said, this is just my personal opinion. I don't know what everybody else's opinions are, but that's just my personal opinion. And just like this, that's defects in the paint. Bus was like that when I got it. I'm just waiting on it to start, you know, to start peeling like the rest of them do, so I can get the hood repainted. Um, but it's, it's little stuff like that that nobody sees, and maybe it's only, it only gets saw, seen because I'm a bus guy, but it just doesn't work. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. More to come.